from the early reactions looks like the latest the suicide squad has won b as james gunn incorporated some of the magic from the mcu formula to the worlds of dc astonishingly amazingly it's all praises right now and is being considered one of a kind dceu movie let us take a look at some of the early reactions, ratings, and reviews from around the internet. The real story behind The Suicide Squad is simply that James Gunn was allowed to make exactly the film he wanted to make. It is his movie. He brought these characters in the forefront and much like he did with Guardians of the Galaxy, he adds a refreshing amount of humanity and he still manages to bring his very darkly wicked sense of fun into the mix. Every choice that Gunn makes up feels fresh in the world and is not afraid to get ridiculous but he did so with purpose but james gunn basically takes the suicide squad and does with them what he did with the first guardians of the galaxy movie getting you to care about a bunch of really really despicable people but the suicide squad movie is rated r so it's just a much more hardcore wtf version of that so this time instead of getting you to care about a talking tree and a talking raccoon it's a talking shark wearing pants and a giant weasel and in the same way that Groot really did make guardians of the galaxy for a lot of people king shark is definitely one of the standout champs from this movie Obviously, Guns extremely rewatchable. The Suicide Squad is easily a top three film in the DCEU, far surpassing the 2016 movie. Some of the deaths in this film will completely blindside and shock you. This is James Gunn on Cage. James Gunn absolutely kills it with The Suicide Squad, a bloody chaotic ride from start to finish that finally does justice to Task Force X. It's endlessly shocking and funny, delivering an inspired showcase of DC's F-less villains. James Gunn holds nothing back in the strangest, bloodiest superhero movie yet. He gets it together with a wicked sense of humor and an evident affection for his characters who, though not so endearing as his Guardians of the Galaxy, are hard to hang around with. Now though, the squad is back, this time headed up by Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn. Ostensibly given the keys to do just whatever the hell he wanted to do with DC's Dirty Dozen, Gunn's plainly titled follow-up, The Suicide Squad, has looked even more promising than the first did before its release. Gunn has delivered a big screen adaptation truly worthy of the legendary John Ostrander run of the 1980s, replete with hilarious dialogue, colourful characters, and even some punchy commentary too. I'm the Suicide Squad feels like a movie that was directly translated from the filmmaker's brain to the big screen. And if you're an individual hooked to his wavelength, you are gonna have a raucous good time. It is because of James Gunn's unique voice and style that Guardians of the Galaxy went from being the MCU's riskiest venture to one of the most beloved titles. And now he has brought his A game over to the DCEU. Brothers, that's all for now. Do not miss out more. Be in touch.